What is up guys? Today we're going to be going over the daily care of this guy right here, who you know and love, Mr. Edward, my Nelson's Milk Snake, plus all my other animals, just so you can get an idea of kind of what I have to do every day when I wake up to take care of all these guys at one time. As you know, I have Edward here in the 20 gallon long terrarium. We have a five and a half gallon tank for my betta fish. We have a 40 gallon tank for the rainbow fish and neon tetras, 26 gallon tank for glow light tetras, quarry catfish and a different betta. Then we have the little miniature tank out there. There's three and a half gallons that's just planted. And then all the way outside, we have the pond. So we're gonna go ahead and check through all those things. I'm gonna show you what I have to do for each one just to make sure they're healthy and cared for on a daily basis. So first things first, Edward right here. First of all, we have to turn his light on, obviously. And I know some of you were concerned in a different video. This is just an LED bulb. It's actually been on earlier. I just turned it back on for the video. Like I can just touch it and stuff. It doesn't get too hot. So you don't have to worry about that. It's not a heat lamp for him. It's just so he has a daytime, nighttime cycle because that's how what he would have in the wild. And then over here, we have his thermostat to regulate his temperature to 88 right now. So that's fine for him. Also have a temperature gun here and you want to check every day about what the temperature is in there it's not actually 70 i'll open it and show you it's around mid 70s which is okay for his cool side obviously underneath the substrate on the warm side it's going to be that temperature over there so high 80s which is good for him he's also in shed right now so i'm not going to mess with him too much but we do need to add some water to his bowl you want to completely clean out his water bowl probably every two three days i did it yesterday though so i'm just going to add some water that evaporated from last night and then we'll be able to move on have some nice filtered water here for him. We don't really need much. So we're just gonna add about that much. And then that is basically it for Edward. The nice thing about snakes is they're not eating every day like your other animals. So if you go to town for a weekend or something like that, you're fine to just leave them. They'll be okay, they'll survive. And the other nice thing is the tank is pretty easy to take care of because they don't eat that much. Those are not pooping all the time. Like fish, they're pooping every single day. So you really have to stay up to with those water changes and stuff. But this, you just clean out the substrate every once in a while, make sure his temperature's okay, feed him when he needs to be fed, and make sure he has fresh water. And as long as that's taken care of, he's pretty much gonna be perfect. So that's about it for the Nelson's milkshake. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the 26 gallon aquarium and I'll show you what I have to do with that. So obviously you need to turn on the lights every day. I already did though, but they just flip them like that. It has this little film on top. It's because I don't have enough flow right now. I need to put the other filter back in so we can get rid of that. Sorry about those cars driving by. But um, that's about it for that. We can also trim these if we need to. But I need to feed these guys. And then I'm actually going to do a water change and clean off the glass. Because you see there's a lot of algae. It's not actually bad for the fish. It just makes it look ugly. So we're going to go ahead and clean the algae off. Do a water change. I'm just going to roll the time out right now. tank right here. I've had a problem with this like film algae. I'm sure you can see it right there on the glass in his tank. So pretty much every day I've been scrubbing it down with a toothbrush like his rocks and all that kind of stuff. Try to get rid of it and then pulling that stuff out so that hopefully at some point I get rid of it. I might have to get some algae treatment stuff. We're gonna go ahead and clean his out and then we'll give him some food and then we'll move on to the next tank. Um, But I wanted to also mention water changes don't happen that often. For the 26 gallon I do it about once every two weeks. Same with the 40 gallon. With his I do about once a week just because it's smaller. The bigger the aquarium the more stable it is so i only do water change with him about once a week but i purposely keep it low so he won't jump out because betas actually do jump which i found out the hard way we're gonna go ahead and clean his house some feed him and then move on to the pond <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and feed this guy he's usually pretty fun to watch here come here come here Sometimes they'll follow your fingers, watch. Come here, look, this way, this way. There you go, see, he ate one already. Go get it. This guy's fun to watch. He actually has a really cool, good personality, which I love. But that's about it for him. So basically just water change about once a week, but it's really easy because it's so small. And then I had that weird algae problem, so I've been trying to deal with that. And then just feeding about twice a day, and that's it. Good thing to have, we're here at the 40 gallon, by the way. One really good thing to have to keep the upkeep of your tanks really easy is one of these. So it's called Magflow. There's a bunch of different brands of them too, but they just slide across your glass like this. As you can see, there's a part inside and it gets algae off the glass. So a lot of times you'll have algae build up. You can probably see it from this side. Yeah, you see that all the way down here and then up at the top some too. And then watch as I use this, 
it just gets scraped off. So you do this pretty much every day. It's kind of fun too, so it's not a big deal, but you do it pretty much every day just to keep the glass somewhat clean because if it gets really bad, then it's gonna be a pain, but doing this every day takes like two minutes maybe, and then you're done and you can just feed the fish, turn the lights on, and that's about it. So I went ahead and cleaned off this front portion of the glass. I usually don't do the sides or the backs, sometimes this side, but as I said earlier, the algae doesn't hurt them. If anything, it helps. So I just try to clean off the front so it actually looks nice. I go ahead and clean off the glass, then I feed them and just have the lights on, and that's about it on a day-to-day -day basis plus the water changes about once every two weeks i'm going to feed them see if we can get some action from them sometimes i swear they almost completely jump out of the water it's really cool but that's them usually the uh, neons that are back here hiding as they always do usually they come out once the stuff starts sinking to get their food too and they might be scared of these guys but also i think they just don't want to go to the surface that much so yeah that's basically it for the 40 gallon just feed them water change once every two weeks clean off the glass turn the lights on that is about it obviously you need to check the temperature just like you do with the uh snake cage and i have a heater right there because it'll get too cold in here for them but i use the same thing just the heat gun i can get a quick check just to to make sure the temperature is a-okay and now for the most interesting part the pond and there goes the turtles and before anything else water the plants the only reason i'm actually doing this is because we have newer plants as you can see in a video i'll pop up on the screen now but once they get settled in like these big bushes don't need to be watered and neither do these ones i do them anyway though just because i already have it out here but once they get settled in i won't have to water them anymore and it'd be really really easy to take care of this but coming out here and watering the plants is honestly kind of nice and relaxing so i really don't mind it and once i finish watering i usually head back inside to get the turtles food ready so i'm gonna go ahead and show you that for most sliders you need a nutrient rich lettuce every single day so i have this red lettuce here that is getting low so i might have to go buy some of that soon but you give them about a piece the size of their shell every single day because they have that consistent food mine probably don't need quite that much just because there's plants out there in the pond and i know they eat them because i can see that they take bite marks out of them i'll try to show you some of that too but i still do that I give them about a piece the size of their shell for each one every Every single day and then two to three times a week i give them their turtle food as well which is a high protein diet when they're younger you do that more because they're growing they need more protein and stuff but when they're adults about three times a week i feed them that higher protein stuff and i'll show you that as well the lettuce is actually really easy once you get into a bowl like this you basically just take it and rip it into little pieces you really don't even have to do this they'll take it into the water and kind of break it up in their mouth and won't be a big deal, but I do this just to make it a little bit easier on them. And then we're going to go ahead and get their other food to put in there. Now, on those three days out of the week I mentioned, I feed them this, which is Zoo Med Aquatic Turtle Food. You feed them the amount you think that their head would take in if it was hollow. So if their head is about this big and it was hollow, it could take about that much food. So you just kind of estimate about that much. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to be kind of as close to that as you can just so they're as healthy as possible. And that probably won't be enough for the three of my turtles. Not all of those three days, but maybe every three weeks, I feed them some red shrimp. They haven't had this in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed them some now. It's almost like a little treat for them. You can also do this with fruit, like once a month or every couple weeks, give them some kind of fruit, like strawberries or something like that, because they also enjoy that. That is the meal for our three turtles today. It's a little bit bigger than usual just for the video. What I usually do is wet it like this. I don't want to just throw it in the water because then it'll get sucked into the skimmer over there, which I don't want. If they were in a tank, I could just throw it in the water, but since they're in a pond, I don't want to do that. So what I do is I put it under a little feeding rock right here. As you can see, I'm sorry, at a bad angle right there. They'll come up, grab it, and then go back in the water to eat. Turtles actually don't produce saliva, so they have to eat in the water. I'm gonna go ahead and set this camera up here too, and uh, I'll see if we can get a close up of them eating. Kind of with everything, you realize that it just takes about 30 minutes of your day. Once you get that out of the way, it's pretty much not much else to do. Unless you decide to do a water change for every tank on the same day and do some kind of maintenance on the pond and whatever, whatever, whatever. It can all add up, but usually it just takes a couple minutes out of your day. It's really enjoyable to do too. It's not like a pain in my ass or anything. I wanted to mention, I know I hadn't talked about this yet. Basically, I do nothing with this. I turn on the light in the day, turn it off at night, and I should probably give you an update on it too since it's been a couple days. These are growing a lot higher. When I first put it in, they were like there. So it's just 
doing really well. I'm really surprised because it doesn't have real sunlight. It just has the light from lights in here. And everything is green. Everything's looking good. We're going to get shrimp for this soon, I promise. So stay tuned for that. But that being said, I think that's it. I just want you to know, if you want animals, do your research. Know how to take care of them. But in reality, it's probably not going to be a huge time commitment from you. As long as you have good enclosures, all that kind of stuff, it really makes it easy on yourself. So go out there, get a fish, get something, as long as you know how to take care of it. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight into how I take care of my animals and all that stuff. I love you. I'll see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Peace.